Greetings to all of you here at Gallaudet. I am in awe of how dynamic Gallaudet is. There is so much happening in the classroom, with our research, our student organizations, and events that contribute to bettering ourselves and building a community. On April 8th of 2016, Charter Day, we celebrated President Lincoln signing the charter, establishing a college for deaf people. This single event represents a recognition that deaf people can attain a college education through learning in sign language. This legacy has continued through today. Gallaudet over the years has led the way to the recognition of language, American Sign Language, and deaf culture. Today, science has caught up to what we've known all these years. Several weeks ago, I released a paper entitled, The Myths of Language Acquisition. I wanted to put an end to this misconception of learning language. A group of people continue to argue that deaf children learn language better if exposed to listening, with what little hearing they have, and that it's important to expose them to sound and spoken language first, and introduce sign language later. Years of research at Gallaudet along with other esteemed scientists from around the world, have disproven this. We as deaf people have the full benefit of learning language through our eyes, through American Sign Language here in the United States. The response to this paper was incredibly positive. From here on campus, around the United States and the world, we owe our thanks to the hard work of many people, scientists, students, the community, and past presidents who have paved the way for this new scientific knowledge to influence our future. Let me call this a vision for our future. I witnessed something recently that depicts our future. I had the honor of attending the McGuire Scholars event in Philadelphia with a group of Gallaudet students who are McGuire Scholars. At that event, the chairman of the board of the Philadelphia Insurance Companies and the co-leader of the McGuire Foundation spoke before an audience of more than 600 people, including leaders, and students from many different educational institutions in the United States. In that meeting, Mr. McGuire, who has only just begun to learn sign language, during his presentation, shared each major thought, first in English and then in American Sign Language. He honored both languages in his presentation in this way. And it gave all of us great hope. I salute visionary leaders like Mr. McGuire. Leadership is changing in America, including corporate America. This country is becoming more open to different possibilities than ever before. This is our future. Other news about events happening at Gallaudet? We just hosted the 20th National Academic Bowl here at Gallaudet, with 24 high school teams from all over the United States present for this competition. I personally had the opportunity to see several of the regional academic bowls, and I continued to be amazed at the skills, teamwork, sportsmanship, and the expert responses.
We all watched together. The audience was impressed with students answering questions quicker than they could even be read. I'm not sure how they did that. I want to thank the students, the team, schools, families, and the greater community for their support. I want to especially thank the staff and all the regional center offices for arranging for this competition. We couldn't be more proud of these future generation students. I hope many will attend Gallaudet someday. One highlight of the Academic Bowl was a visit from Gallaudet's own Niall DeMarco when he talked with the students and the community. We are very excited because of his leadership, vision, and commitment to our future young deaf children from all over the world. We know Niall's visit was very close to his upcoming competition in Dancing with the Stars. Niall, we are rooting for you in this competition. We hope that you'll bring home the Mirror Ball Trophy from Dancing with the Stars and know that you have all of our support. Good luck. We are now searching for a new Vice President for the Clare Center. The committee has already begun screening candidates, and I hope to announce the selection in the near future. Did you know that there's a traveling exhibit of one of Shakespeare's original folios? Gallaudet bid for the opportunity to host this. We outbid other competing universities here in the Washington, D.C. area. I am thrilled and proud. Under the direction of Gallaudet's professor, Jill Bradbury, we see many activities coming related to Shakespeare and his work and the perfect marriage of that with American Sign Language. The English language collaborates beautifully with ASL. Thank you for watching. I'll have more updates for you after our upcoming commencement. Remember, here at Gallaudet, we connect, discover, and influence together.